In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use WooCommerce to set up a membership website. We're going to use two plugins to do this. The first is a free plugin from the WordPress plugin directory called Groups. And Groups allows you to control access to your web content and assign additional permissions as needed. Now, we'll also need the Groups from WooCommerce plugin. This is a premium plugin starting at $79. And WooCommerce Groups connects the Groups plugin to WooCommerce. It allows you to automatically assign group membership based on a product purchase. Groups also controls the membership duration. Now, if you want to do recurring billing that is charging members each month or each quarter or each year, you will need an additional plugin called subscriptions. And we're going to look at subscriptions in a separate tutorial. And these are the basic steps we'll go through to create our membership website. The first is we'll create a new group and assign it to one or more posts or pages. That will protect those posts or pages and someone will actually have to be a member to view those pages. Next, we'll create a simple product and then assign the group to the simple product. And then when a customer buys that product, they will automatically become a member of that group and they will be able to view the content that's protected by the group. That's how it works in theory. Let's jump into WordPress and see how this works in practice. So I'm in my WooCommerce website and with groups active as well as the WooCommerce groups is active. And on the left here, we see the new Groups menu option. And this gives me control over groups and capabilities. Those are permissions that are assigned to each group, as well as options that control how the Groups plugin works. Now, the long way of doing this is to go through and manually set up groups and capabilities uh, for each membership area that I want to set up. Uh, there's an easier way, and that's what I'm going to show you, the abbreviated way of setting this all up. And that is just to go to the content, in this case, I'm going to protect a post. I'm going to add a new post, and I can automatically create the group on the fly from the post page. That's probably the easiest way to set this up. And the plugin will actually take care of a lot of the manual steps we'd have to go through if we set up the group first. So I've created a new post, and this is going to be for my blog, and this will only be available to members. How do I do that? I've got a new block over on the right above the publish block, and this is access restriction. And this is put there by the groups plugin. And the way I do this is I can actually pick a previous group that's been created, or I can create a new group. So I'm going to put members. That's what I'm going to call this group is members. Now, if you've got multiple tiers of membership, you probably will want to create multiple groups. But for this example, I'm just going to use one tier of membership and the membership group name is going to be called members. Now I'm going to publish this page. So you see, after I publish the members group that I've created, it's turned into kind of a little button. And if I want to take that permission away, I just click the X. Uh, but what this means when you see the button is that this group has been created in the group system. So I can jump over to the group screen and you'll see in my list of groups, there's this new members group that was created automatically uh, when I added that to the post. So now if I go create a new post, I won't have to create a new group. I will be able to access the members group that I've already created. So let me show you how this works. If I go to create a new post, now I've got an additional box in the access restriction here because I've already created a membership group. And when I click into that, you see the members group that I've already created. So when I want to go assign this group to different posts that I want to protect, I don't need to create the new group or type anything in. I just go and choose the group that's already been created. Now let's get back to the post that we're working on protecting. So this has been published and this has been protected. Let's take a look at this. I'm logged in as an admin user. So when I click on view post, I should be able to see this. And there's my new post. And when I click on the blog link in my menu, we'll see this post, which is protected, and then previous posts. Now let me log in with a different browser where I'm not logged in as an admin user. And when I go to the blog tab in the menu, that post for members is not displayed because I'm not logged in as either an admin user or a customer who has permission to access that member group. So our content is being protected. Next, we need to create a new product that will allow customers to buy access to view this content. And to do that, we'll create a new product just like we would create any product. We'll click Add Product from the Products menu. So I've created a very simple product here, Smell of Books Membership. And I am creating a new category called Membership because it doesn't really fit into any of the other categories. And this is just going to be a simple product 
And I'm going to go ahead and check virtual because there is nothing shippable. So I don't want any shipping options to show up when someone buys this. And you see that I've got a new tab over here under product data. I've got groups. And so when someone buys this product, they can automatically be added to a group. And when I click in there, you see the members group that I've already created. And then if you've got multiple tiers of membership, you can have someone removed from a group. So for example, you might have gold, silver, and bronze. And when someone buys gold, they're automatically removed from silver and bronze. So they move their way up to more levels of access. Now I've got a couple of other options here. One is the duration. If I leave the duration empty, they become a member for life. They have membership forever. Uh, if I enter uh, one here, for example, that becomes a one month membership. Now I can also change the duration or the time unit as it's called here. I might want them to be a member for one year. It's entirely up to you. The only limitation here is once this membership expires, they will have to come back and buy a new membership again to get access to the content. We don't have a way to charge them a renewal rate when their membership expires. So if this was set up to monthly, the customer would have access for 30 days or so. And then when the membership expired, they'd have to buy the membership all over again. If we had a way to rebuild the customer every month, they would be a member perpetually until they canceled their membership. And every month they would be charged the new membership fee. We can't do that with this plugin alone. To do that, we need to use the subscriptions plugin. And as I said at the beginning of this lesson, we're going to look at the subscriptions plugin in a separate lesson. So for the time being, I'm not going to specify a duration. I'm going to leave this as unlimited. So anyone who buys this membership product will have access to membership uh, in perpetuity. So I need to give it a SKU and set my price. And I should probably set a product image as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and publish this product. And we can view the product. And there's the membership product. And when someone buys this, they will automatically have access to that member content that we've created or any content that we assign to the group. So I'm going to go ahead and open another browser now and buy the product. And we can see how this works from the customer's perspective. So I'm back in my alternate browser. I'm not logged in. I'm just a normal customer shopping on this website and I want to buy a membership. So I add it to my cart. And now I'm ready to proceed to checkout. And I need to enter my payment details. Complete the transaction. And my order has been received and my order has been processed. And so now I should be able to go to the blog and see that member restricted post. And when I click on blog, there's the membership content. So now this customer is now a member and assigned to the member group. So there's one more thing I want to show you here in the admin menu under groups options. There is an administrative access override. This allows you as an administrative user, when you're logged in as an admin user, to view any group content regardless of what the group setting is. And you probably want to check this box. Otherwise, you're going to run into situations where you've protected content. And even though you're logged in as an admin user, you can't take a look at it. So go ahead and check that box and make sure you save your settings. That's a quick tutorial on setting up a membership site with WooCommerce Groups.